Dr. Robinson has joined us, so um, let's get started. Uh, thank you for joining us today for a major announcement that Florida A&M University is one of 10 institutions to receive $5 million, a $5 million donation from Google. The gift is designed to help create pathways and opportunities for increased diverse representation in the STEM industry. The one-time unrestricted financial grant will or gift will provide FAMU with financial support for scholarships, technological infrastructure support, career readiness, and curriculum development. And now it is my privilege to introduce the 12th president of Florida a and University, Dr. Larry Robinson, for remarks. Well, thanks, Keith, and thank all of you for joining us. I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll have some questions that we can, can answer, but I just want to begin with saying, you know, we're really proud and honored to be part of this uh, 10 HBCU consortium that are the recipients of this $10 million, $5 million each. Uh, I strongly believe that it'll go a very long way in terms of increasing uh, diversity within the, the tech corridor here at FAMU and collectively uh, with our partners. Um, but beyond just the donation itself, I think it's the, um, the commitment that Google's leadership has made uh, on this matter. And in fact, um, Google and these presidents and in, in, in institutions formed an, an HBCU presidential council to ensure that, that we work on these matters um, well into the future. Uh, this investment will be an injection, you know, of, of hope and, and, and a lot of excitement, but it will take a long time working together to, to really, really move the needle on some of these issues. And we appreciate uh, Google's uh, commitment to working with us to do just that. So with that, I will stop Keith, and entertain any questions that anyone might have. All right, thank you, Dr. Robinson. And thank you to our media partners once again for joining us today. Dr. Robinson is available for questions, so please raise your hands or, uh, and uh, ask away. Thank you. Any questions for Dr. Robinson? Hi, Jacqueline with WCTV. How are you? Hello, how are you? How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, so I think my only question is how soon will we start to see this money actually being used? Right, so the, um, first of all, let's talk about it getting to us, right? So it should be, um, according to Google, uh, they will be providing the funds through uh, Thurgood Marshall College Fund, you know, a, a, a um, group that we've been a member of for years and then advocates for HBCUs, public HBCUs. Uh, the privates will get theirs perhaps through UNCF, another well-known um, group that has worked hard on the behalf of HBCUs over the years. So we should expect their monies as early as uh, July. And so I anticipate that we will start utilizing it for student support, and, and other initiatives as early as the fall of 2021. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Jacqueline, and uh, any other questions for Dr. Robinson? Hi, this is Renzo Downey with Florida Politics. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, how are you? Great, thanks. Yeah, so are any other uh, Florida HBCUs receiving a, a cut of this? And if not, uh, is FAMU planning to uh, reach out with other Florida HBCUs? Well, the answer to the first question is no. Uh, in the press release that um, Keith and his team issued um, earlier, identifies the 10 HBCUs um, that are part of this initiative. Um, you know, we didn't have any specific uh, requirements to reach out to our HB other HBCU partners in Florida. But we always find a way to collaborate with them and share with them and um, the things that are mutually beneficial. For example, right now, you know, we're working on a $30 million proposal that includes Bethune-Cookman University. They've been a partner with us on that 
uh, that initiative for you know the first five years of this NOAA collaborative uh, research and education uh, opportunity. But we're always looking for opportunities there. So one mechanism might very well be that you know there could be students from those HBCUs that could um, you know receive their undergraduate degrees in those places and then come. Uh, the FAMU to top those off at, you know, master's and PhD levels. There's an extremely large amount of talent in, in those three privates, and we've um, enjoyed uh, the partnerships that we've had with them over the years. Oh, thank you, uh, Renzo. And just uh, for your information, the 10 uh, universities receiving funds will be Claflin University from South Carolina, Clark Atlanta University from Atlanta, of course, FAMU, Howard University from the nation's capital, Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland, North Carolina a and in Greensboro, North Carolina, Prairie View a and uh, University in Texas, Spelman College in Atlanta, Tuskegee University in Alabama, and Xavier University in Louisiana, New Orleans. Um, next question for Dr. Robinson. I do want to point out that there's one common thread among all those institutions. Of course, they're all HBCUs, but, but they also have uh, outstanding programs uh, related to technology, uh, computer science, and computer engineering. And uh, that's, that's how they were selected. Um, and I think that that will lead to some fairly immediate results when it comes to producing that next generation of um, scientists and innovators. Okay, thank you, Dr. Robinson. Any other questions for Dr. Robinson? Dr. Robinson, Cara Bailey here at ABC 27. Um, based on, on what you just said, can you speak a little bit and elaborate for me um, about the importance of being represented at the forefront of the technology industry? Well, this is part of our mission, right? And we have in our current strategic plan uh, articulated clearly that, that we wanted to uh, be a leader in STEM and, and presenting, providing opportunities for our students to go out into the world and make a, an impact in those areas. And as you know, Kyra, uh, STEM is a major area of focus in the uh, Board of Governors performance funding model uh, matrix, uh, metrics. And, and so that's critically important. But you know, we've been in this sort of technology Base throughout our history, you know, that's where, you know, the a &M comes from. Uh, but we have, um, you know, through these kinds of initiatives, it helps us to ensure that we are preparing our students for today's world so they can be competitive uh, wherever they go and, and make a difference and an impact wherever they go as well. So this is critically important. Florida a &M University is, is part of our mission and is articulated clearly in our strategic plan. Thank you, Dr. Robinson. Thank you, Cara. Any other questions for Dr. Robinson? Hi there, I have a question. Uh, this is Josie Barroso with the Florida Channel. Um, I, we've seen a big push on the politics front against uh, like pushing back on social media companies and big tech. Uh, were those concerns factored in when applying to this grant? And has FAMU had any previous history in partnering with Silicon Valley? Uh, yes, yeah, so I want to clarify this is it's not a grant. It was it's not, you know, in a classic sense, you know, a grant is something a lot different. This is a donation, right? And um, in, in the sense that um, these monies will be sort of unrestricted. They're unrestricted in the sense that within a certain framework, we can use them you know, to uh, um, a set of um, outcomes that we've all agreed to. Number one being the production of students in, in the areas of um, computer science, computer engineering. Um, so we have, yes, we have, um, you know, even during my tenure here, uh, we've had uh, several visits with companies out in Silicon Valley. Of course, we've had an ongoing like, three year uh, in, engagement with, with Google through a program, you know, called Google Connect, where we've had students and faculty uh, out at Google headquarters in Silicon Valley, 
you know, uh, teaching and, and being taught um, on the uh, latest in, in terms of um, uh, the world of high tech. Um, I, I do think though that it's important that um, we, we have the opportunity to uh, increase the diversity in that tech corridor, where you, you're talking about Google, you know, Microsoft or, or any other big tech conglomerate. And um, I think this initiative will help us do that. Um, and I think too, that uh, we will be well served for it as, as well as they, so that they, the impact of this donation, you know, and really more appropriately an investment is gonna be mutually beneficial, right? We'll get to train more students and ensure that they have all of the skills that they need to go out into the world, build capacity here at the university within our faculty and staff. And, and of course, Google and others will have the opportunity, you know, to hire those students to um, enhance their bottom line as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. Thank you so much. I hope, I hope I answered your question in there somewhere. Okay, any other questions for Dr. Robinson? Well, okay. Um, well, this is, of course, major news for Florida A&M University. We want to thank you all once again for joining this virtual press conference, and we hope that you have a good rest of the day.